all week that this was going to be a prize fight. It was going to be a, a heavyweight street showdown. How do you describe this game? Man, it was good, man. Um, they got a good front. They got some good players on their side. Um, they got a good defense. But, you know, you got to play on all phases, and I think we did that today. Uh, like we always say, bend, don't break. Or if something happened on the offense, we need to just step up on the defense. And I think we did that this, um, this game. For the second straight week, one of your young defensive backs ends the game with an interception. You got Richie last week, a couple lockers over. <laughs> As you can hear, D Alfred this time. How good is that to see? Man, good, man. Anytime the young boys can go out here and end the game, that's what we kind of do on defense. We always say, let's, let's stand up. And that's what we did. That's two weeks in a row that the defense is stand up. Uh, we had some young guys do it again. And, uh, man, it feels good to go out here and get two in a row. Look, you're on the sideline doing your thing. You guys are talking with coaches, looking at film. But did you notice how you guys were running the ball? You had a 10-play touchdown drive, all rushes. I mean, did you guys pay attention? Did that get you fired up? For sure, for sure. We, we definitely paid attention. Uh, Hunt was running the ball hard, <laughs> man. Uh, the the O-line was blocking hard. Uh, man, that's what you need. You can uh, get those 10 plays and run some clock off. Um, it came up big for us. You guys have had four games. All four of them have come right down to the last possession. I mean, what's it been like, and what's it like now to have put two in a row in the win column? That's how it go. If you if you look around the league, man, the games are one by seven or less majority of the time. I've probably been I've been in the league 11 years. Probably like 95 percent of my games would come come down to seven points or less. And you just want to be on the right side of that. And that's what we did the last two games. We've been on the right side of it. Last question for you. After a physical game like this one, they got some big receivers. Everybody's getting in there in the run game. You going to feel it a little more tomorrow after one like this? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to feel it a little bit. But after a win, you, feel, you, you ain't going to feel it as much. So. Uh, it takes all 11 uh, from the receivers to the backs to the tight ends and uh, us up front. So uh, it's just a great team effort to go out there and uh, be that efficient running. You had that drive that ended with the, the Caleb's rushing touchdown. Ten plays, all running plays. What's that like for you? Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, just staying on track in the downs. Those guys were running hard. And like I said, it takes all 11 and there was belief in what we do. And uh, I think that showed. Take us inside the huddle, though. As it's one run play after another, I mean, are guys getting fired up? Are you guys kind of looking at each other like, all right, we're doing something here? Yeah, for sure. And I think we knew that we, you know, I forget what the score was at the time, but we knew we had to go down and put points on the board. And uh, just really there was belief in the huddle that, and you know, as soon as you start stacking those, uh, it's, it's easier and you can see it more. But every single guy really uh, had faith in what we were doing and came out and uh, really attacked it. We heard from Arthur all week this was going to be a heavyweight fight. How did he get that across to you guys? I mean, are you watching boxing clips? Is he? How did he instill that in you guys? Uh, I think it's just the identity of what we want to be about as a team. And I think he started this last year when he got here and then built it through this season. And um, I think we're really starting to embrace the identity as a team. What is that identity you want to show? Is it is it rushing yards? Is it toughness? Is it physicality? Uh, just the, the style of play. We just want to come out, play hard, work hard, be, you know, assignment sound on every single uh, snap. And uh, I think we have that. Again, it, it, it's a, truly a team effort and takes all 11 to, to run the ball. You guys have had two in a row now, close games, but all four of your games have come right down to the last possession. What's that been like and how good has it been to now put two in a row in the win column? Uh, it's an incredible feeling. The defense played outstanding and uh, it, was, it was so awesome to watch them go out there and make a play. And I mean, Grady is, is, you know, there's a reason why uh, he's Grady and he earns that every day and went out there and made a great play and then followed it up. I mean, it was a great job by our defense. Last question for you, Chris, is, you know, CP does it every week. Tyler's been doing it. Now to see a young guy, Caleb, get involved, what's it been like to see so many running backs having so much success behind you guys? Uh, it's inspiring to watch those guys run. Those guys run hard. They work hard every single day. Uh, you know, the finishing that guys have at the top of runs from skill guys to offensive line trying to push the pile. And those guys just running hard. It's uh, really awesome to be a part of. So, like I was saying, when you guys are running the ball like that, what's that like for a tight end? It's just it's a group effort. And all week we've been trying to establish the, the line of scrimmage, and that's just something we've been working on. And, and we came out here and showed it today. So, Kyle, um, you know, uh, what was it like when you all get that uh, go ahead field goal to, you know, come back and get the lead as a back and forth game. How do y'all stay on top of things to, to you know, be able to pull a game out like this? I mean, we knew it was going to be a four-quarter four fight. So, mm -hmm. you know, we had that mindset all week, which it is every week. But uh, just going out there, keep fighting to the end, and then cool, put it up, put it through, and then, you know, we got the win. 
And um, what did you say about your defense for the second week in a row? They go out and close it out for you guys. I mean, we all work together. So mm -hmm. offense helps the defense, defense helps the offense, special teams, you know, it all correlates. So mm -hmm. for all of us to put together a complete game, I feel like that was a good job. What was it like on the sidelines when uh, Grady got the sack and then when D got the pick? Oh, I mean, it's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was jumping for joy. I mean, you know, those two great playmakers, and it was, it was great to see that. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, it looked like Co Coach Ragone kind of got the offense together um, somewhere in that third quarter. What was the message at that point? To just go back to the basics and, and the fundamentals, to just keep playing our game and, and grind out the win. Kyle, uh, that's 2-2. I mean, you guys a couple of – a couple plays, a couple of situations away from being really 3-1, and one, maybe 4-0. Oh, I mean, how much encouraging is it that you guys are playing at this level so far this year? I mean, as in this locker room, we, we know who we are. So, you know, we go out each week, you know, with worrying about what we're talking about in, in, in our uh, team room and just working, keeping our head down and just going for it. I just think uh, she was just, dra just dragged the guy, just dragged the guy and just trust my rules, trust my rules, and then just um, couldn't do it without the O-line and the receivers blocking. So, you know, that's a 1-11, that's a you know, all-11 team, all-11 drive right there. And what about the group? You, Caleb, even Avery got, got, a, got, I mean, got a run in there. Um, uh, what does it say about the group that y'all were able to put up 200 again today? Yeah, yeah I just thought uh, we all just fed off each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing, you know, we don't all, all, like, obviously everyone wants to, wants to touch the rock, everyone wants to score, but I think all of a group collective, like as long as we got that dub, and when we did, and sure, you just said it, we just rushed for 200 some yards, whatever. So I think that's a big, like, big thing in our room. Thank you. We, we heard all week from Arthur and from everybody, this is going to be a heavyweight fight, all that stuff. How'd they get that across to you guys? Or you got, you just put it up on the board, you watch boxing clips. Like, how'd you get across to you guys that this was going to be this kind of physical game? No, shoot, you know, we got a lot of, like, we got heard a lot of news articles. Like, we got them, got like their, uh, their run game. Mm -hmm. Like their run game, like on our boards and stuff. So you know, we just got, I just, we're just good. Fudge, sorry. No, you're good. We just had, we were just ready, ready. We knew it was gonna be a physical game. So I think we just freaking strapped our helmets up and then just freaking got it done. But I mean, you guys came in with one of the best rushing attacks. Did you guys, as running backs, look at them getting all the hype and and kind of feed off that? I would say. <clears throat> yeah, we fed off it, but didn't keep it. Like we just, we just gotta do what we do, like stats or whatever. But we just need to do what we do and just play all eleven football. How do you describe this kind of game? Just the, the physicality. Like, how, how does a, a football player describe this kind of game? Yeah, shoot. Sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think um, that was just, it was just a game that we needed to win, and then we ended up getting the job done. Chris Lynch from a minute ago said this is an identity game, you know, to kind of show the identity. You guys, do, do you guys agree, or do you agree, and what kind of identity are you guys trying to show with this kind of game? Oh, yeah, shoot, like a, phys like a physical and gritty group, you know, strap our helmets up and just get to, like, get to rolling, whether it's a pass, whether it's a run, you know, just got to do our part. What's it like when you see Caleb start rolling like that? It's like once that happens, that's when you guys are going to rip off. Yeah, I just think, uh, like I said earlier, if we can just feed off each other. Feed off each other, you know. He had a great, like he ended up getting the touchdown and all that. You know, every like all the running backs were over here, hype, hype as hell for him. And I think that's what shows, like, for our group. You know, either if someone has like individual success, you know, we're all just hype, hyped up for him and all that. Do you guys recognize when like, you um, guys have run? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. You know, it makes the game fun. That, that's what we do. Um, you know, it's it's rewarding to us. Because uh, that's how we practice every day, man. You know, we, we bring it every day to practice, and uh, we prepare to play like that. Um, so it's fun when we actually get to do that in the game. Did you have any signifying before the game that that might be able to be ha may, might be able to happen? Like, no, not really. I mean, we did that up the art and the coaching staff, but um, you know, we just prepare to play and come out and, and do our thing, whether that's running the ball, passing the ball, or you know, whatever we have to do to get the win. What does that feel like up front when y'all get it rolling? The guys are ripping off 10, 7, 8, 41-yard runs, um, and so forth. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it feels like we're all in sync. Um, it feels like, you know, everything is paying off what we practice for all week. Um, and it feels good, man. It, it, like I said to him, you know, it, it makes it feel fun. It's mm -hmm. fun to us when we get to go out there and run for 200 yards and, you know, put the team on our backs. What was uh, the sideline like when uh, Grady – uh, got the sack there, and then when D got the pick at the end. Oh man, it was it was it was electrifying. Uh, I think I was mic'd up, so you could probably hear me screaming. <laughs> uh, you could probably hear my voice right now, a little hoarse, but uh, I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Oh yeah, Grady, yeah, Grady. Then D got the pick, you know, and he he fought through the adversity. He let up a play early in the game, and you know he kept pressing, kept pressing, kept pressing, and look, he's rewarded with a pick, and that's how we work. So I think that that's you know a credit to what we do um, every single day when we come to work, and just it shows, you know. Mm -hmm. 
what does this say for the season? Um, you know, uh, two and two to go and see uh, Tampa Bay. You know, some people said y'all weren't gonna win but two games. So, uh, <laughs> what do you um, say to those folks, the two win people? I can't speak for everybody else, but um, you know, the way that I look at it, you know, we're one to know this week. Um, it's a new week next week. Uh, we come to work every week, and we come to be one to know. So that's how you got to approach this uh, this game. You know, every single day, every single week. You know, day by day, week by week, game by game. Um, just take it one step at a time and see where you end, see where you're at, and then. What was that ten play? All rushing plays, touchdown drive like. <laughs> um, it, it was it was satisfying, you know. Not only I, I hope to the rest of the line, but to me, um, because like I said, you know, that's how we work, and you know, just the conditioning we do, and just just everything. It just you felt it. You see them tired, gassing for air. You see us, you know, huddling up and running to the ball. Um, you know, it, it's very satisfying to see the work paying off. So I mean, you're mic'd up, so we'll find out eventually this oh, you'll, week. Yeah, yeah you'll, <laughs> you'll hear it. Yeah, you'll hear it. Inside the huddle on those drives, right? Is Marcus just calling out the plays, or does he have a message for you guys, especially you guys up front, what you were doing to continue it? Um, you know, I, he comes in, he's like, "Let's go, guys. Let's get it going. Let's get it rolling." Uh, I kind of chime in a little bit. You probably hear on the mic up, like, you know, <laughs> "Let's go. Let's get some going. Let, let's get it going." You know, it, it's on us. Um, that's kind of you know my little buzzwords that I say in the huddle. But you know, other than that, everybody's locked in. You know, listening to the call and uh, just ready to roll. You, you, Arthur kept calling it a, a heavyweight fight. I've heard big boy football. What's your preferred term for a game where you guys have 200 rushing yards, they have 170? What do you call that game? Uh, I call that a yeah. I, I call that a heavyweight fight, man. And I think we came out on top. Absolutely, man. I'm so happy for that boy, man. He been working hard, bro. Uh, tired count, and he forgot to finish it out for us today. It was a good thing. What, what does it say about this defense? Not just the interception, Grady's sack, and second straight week again. You guys lock it down at the end when the other team has a chance to do something. I told you, we fighting, bro. Uh, like, you got to believe those words, man. We fighting. I think this team believes it and believe in each other. So when we get in those moments, we're just going back to the basics. Our training, believing in it, and then we're producing. We talked to you during the week. We knew that you knew, everybody knew that Cleveland was going to come in, try to pound the ball, yeah. try to run it. How do you guys feel you handled that today? Man, I think up front they did a hell of a job. Mm -hmm. I mean, like he had some bursts. Uh, they had a couple breaks, 27, 24. But at the end of the day, I think, I think our D-line did a hell of a job, the linebackers. What kind of mentality does it take out of all 11, though? Because you were involved in a lot of those as well. I mean, yeah, you know, we had to do our part as well. But uh, you've seen a couple of balls that try to throw deep. So, you know, we had to be real disciplined in our coverage. But Saints got in there a little bit. We got in the mix a little bit. How do you describe a game like that where you know they're going to run the ball and then you guys are able to go out and run for over 200 yards? <laughs> Hey, man, I'm so, I'm so happy, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, man. The offense, they came and did what they wanted to do. Defense came and did what we had to do, and we got the W. What did you learn about this team, this game, and, and the last one as well, to be able to come out, close out the game on defense? Um, just say belief, man. Mm -hmm. Belief in our training, belief in our coaching, belief in the scheme, belief in each other. Um, that's what's giving us that, that push to go out there and finish these games like this. One of the other key things you guys did today was really limit them on third down. How much of that was an emphasis for you guys, and how much pride do you take in that? They were 5 for, five for 14 on third down. 5 for 14, ooh, I ain't even know, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> weren't keeping up, but, I mean, that's a hell of an uh, effort for the defense, you know what I mean? I'm real proud of our guy, 3 for 15, or 5 for 15, you said. That is not what I expected, but that's a hell of a job. And you guys really had some some stands there against them, right? You force a fumble there inside the five uh, in the first half. They get the ball after the interception on quick change. You hold them to a field goal. They get first and goal at the one. You hold them to a field goal. Um, how were you guys able to do that to really kind of bend but don't break, I guess? Like I said, we're just believing in our training, man. Like every single thing that we did today or gave up today, um, you know, it was some some plays that the defense wanted back, you know, as a, as a defense, as a whole. Um, but... Like you said, no situation. I think it was just believing in our training, man. Simple as that. Last thing for you, man. Two and two after the first two games. Each and every game came down to the very last possession. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for going forward? Where does this team go from here? You want to know next week? It was in L.A. It was like he was kind of uh, kind of discouraged because he wasn't getting a lot of play time. But I was like, bro, just stick with it. Keep grinding. Mm -hmm. uh, we built for this. Uh, me and him both mm -hmm. come from the south side, so mm -hmm. uh, things could get kind of hard. But we here, and I was like, it's only a matter of time. And when it was his time, he made his play. You mm -hmm. said he's I'm been, proud of him. You said mm -hmm. he's been getting frustrated. What was that like for you when you've been on the practice squad? And all, all of a sudden, the second half, they're like, go ahead, go run the ball. I was just ready for my opportunity. Um, like I told uh, the guys earlier, um, I practice how I play. So in practice all week, I was getting ready for the moment. and. When my number was called, I stepped up and did what I needed to do. Offensive line did their thing, 
and we went to work. What's it like after those maybe first couple of runs where you're getting really positive yardage? Like, does something change in you? Does something shift? It was a boost, but when I went in, uh, first play, I already had that, you know, chip on my shoulder to do whatever I need to do to get the team on the uh, right foot. Because, I, like I said before, we was kind of stifled, but once I got in there, I was like, okay, let's go. We got we to gotta do this. We got to get this dub. And um, after those couple runs, I just got happy and, and stayed with it. What about your line? Uh, what did you say, uh, what did you see from them as they were getting a, a, a good push for you, I guess? Oh, man, they were blowing them boys off the ball. I was like, man, <laughs> shoot, I can go either way with this one. Like, it was it was just a whole lot of space and took advantage of that. At what point this week did you know you were going to be active? Um, I knew yesterday for sure when uh, yesterday. Coach called me. Called, called you, so he called your cell? Yes, sir. Where, where were you? What I mean, what was that um, like for you? Where was I yesterday? I was um, – I was in Atlanta at my uh, Airbnb because um, I knew we had a walkthrough today. I mean, yesterday. So I was just out here because um, it made sense instead of being on the north side and making that commute. Right. But once he called me, I was like, okay, it's go time. What were you, did you remember what you were doing? Just studying, you know, studying, uh, relaxing, and just getting ready for the next day. Studying your playbook or studying my like, yeah, playbook? playbook. Did you like jump up, call your mom? Nah, uh, I, I told my mom earlier in the week, so she kind of already knew that it was a, a chance that I would be playing, but um, I called her again to let her know. And as soon as I knew, I was trying to get tickets for them and everything, but I wasn't able to do that because uh, my son and my uh, girlfriend, they was at the house, and I didn't want to uh, make that commute and be late at the hotel last night, so they was at home watching me on TV. And what was her reaction, your mother? When she yeah, she was so excited. Um, guys, I just been through a lot growing up, and uh, this moment seemed like it would be forever, but, you know, it's finally here. I took advantage of it. How would you say that the, your group, the running backs group, is gelling? We're gelling perfectly. Um, we all come in every day and put our best foot forward. Got a great coach behind us and uh, just critiques us on a little thing to, you know, make us be a good group. Do you, do you kind of have like a bond over being from the South Side? I mean, oh yeah, like, for sure. Um, we actually played each other in high school um, at something called Spotting Camp, which is like a padded uh, summer camp. So uh, once he told me what school he went to, I was like, okay, yeah, respect, because I know how hard it is coming up from down there. And, uh, you know, making it to this level is, is kind of hard, nearly impossible, but we did it.